We are reporting on the Virtual Euromediterranean Hospital Project, which is the continuation of the Hemisphere Project, a project co-funded by the European Union and executed in Cyprus and other European and Mediterranean countries, and uh, involves several telemedicine applications to our case in intensive care specifically. What we wanted to share with you is our experience with these projects from the Cyprus perspective. And we're going to talk briefly about the facts and needs of the medical community in Cyprus, the contributions, a glimpse of the contributions in the context of Hemisphere, the expectations from a future virtual Euro-Mediterranean hospital, and uh, what is our vision and a structured proposal towards this hospital. And first, let's talk to the needs of the medical community in Cyprus in terms of e-medicine or telemedicine. Cyprus is a small island in the southeastern corner of the Mediterranean, and it's an EU member state, however, is rather isolated from the rest of Europe. Healthcare expectations are high, due to the high percentage of the well-educated people in Cyprus, but there are no university hospitals and no medical school. So there is lack of critical mass in a number of specialties, including intensive care, which is critical for survival, taking in mind that everybody, us included, will pass through an intensive care unit in a percentage of 1.2 times in our life according to the Western world statistics. There is also a high level of tourism from Europe and cruises in the broader Mediterranean basin that frequently need consultation on critical situations. Doctors and patients from small hospitals in Cyprus, as well as private clinics, they need second opinion from larger hospital and specifically from Nicosia General Hospital, who is the largest tertiary hospital of Cyprus. Also, these doctors and patients, they frequently need second opinion from centers of excellence outside Cyprus in several countries in Europe. Also, doctors and allied health personnel, they need continuous medical education or other certification and training. Ships in the area frequently need medical advice, as I told you before, on emergency situations. And also there is e-home care needs for certain patient groups that are kept in the community, but they have special medical problems. So towards the Hemisphere project, that was a pilot project for developing several teleconsultation and telemedicine services to Cyprus. We started mainly with teleeducation, which of course is the most easy part, sort of saying, of this uh, spectrum of applications, the telemedicine applications. And you can see in the picture an event in 2003, post-operative intensive care congress, that was concurrently transmitted from Cyprus to other countries, and specifically at that time Israel. You can see also pictures from uh, series of events that have to do with physiotherapy teletraining. That was a session between Nicosia General Hospital personnel and Ismet Palermo, Italy. So Hemisphere concept was presented to several centers and medical specialties. And uh, I go now to focus on what are the expectations from the proposed continuation of Hemisphere project, that is the virtual Euro-Mediterranean hospital. First of all, to increase the level of local expertise, the standards of healthcare, and the sense of assurance among healthcare providers and patients through teleconsultation and second opinion services. Second, to facilitate access to data from European health system patients' records to Cyprus when needed in order to ensure the best possible data-based healthcare 
especially in emergency situ situations that these data are needed. Third, to provide easy access to several medical databases, literature, executive reviews, evidence-based medicine databases, case records, operations scenarios, radiology files, clinical studies results, formulary data, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, through this tele-access. Fourth, to reinforce continuous medical education local program by providing e-learning opportunities, especially in certain specialty communities that they don't have a critical mass to provide to themselves such education. And last but not least, to provide all kinds of information to patients regarding their illness and prescribe treatment through interdisciplinary working groups throughout the virtual Euro-Mediterranean hospital network. Now Cyprus is exporting patients that they need special treatment and this costs a lot. We have to reduce this efflux of patients and uh, in the contrary increase the influx of patients from areas and countries in the Middle East around Cyprus because this is for the well-being of the patients inside Cyprus and also from the whole area. Another expectation is a safe cruising situation around Mediterranean area with a 24-hour support system from ships assistance telemedicine centers that will be part of the virtual Euro-Mediterranean hospital organization. And finally, to promote collaborative medical research around Mediterranean area focusing on interdisciplinary approaches and cultural differences that are unique in this area, aiming to really bridge Europe and Mediterranean countries. Now, what is our vision and the structure proposal? As a first step, we should create an ethical platform for virtual Euro-Mediterranean hospital based on results from international survey in all involved countries then to establish an international scientific committee, including as much specialties as possible, to establish working groups for every task and service that is intended to be provided, and also establish a non-governmental organization or a network of non-governmental organizations in each country with common core establishment. That would be a start. The vision is to have a patient-centered intensive care that the healthcare providers are competent based on training, there is continuous medical education, there is an electronic health record internationally available, there will be bedside access to databases remote to the patient, there will be ability to collect and co-assess multiple inputs around the patient, there will be research that will use multi-center patient, patients' databases and interrelation of basic and clinical research. This is, in a picture, the vision of the establishment of the virtual Euro-Mediterranean hospital. Thank you.